DJ Somebody's friends reject claims that he was a gangster. DJ Somebody's business associate and friend Chapai Ranamain, has refuted claims that the late MA Piano sensation was a gangster. The rumors surfaced on social media shortly after DJ Somebody's passing. The MA Piano pioneer was murdered in the early hours of Sunday morning 20 November en route to a gig. He was killed with one of his bodyguards. DJ Somebody was laid to rest today on Saturday in GA Maze Mola, Limpopo. Speaking at his funeral Chapai said the DJ was killed too soon and dismissed rumors that he was a gangster or a drug dealer. I dismissed it as paranoia. I wish I hadn't because maybe he was going to pay a bit of attention to his security detail. The thing is with me is I always thought why would somebody want to harm somebody so harmless. I mean the guy wouldn't even hurt a fly. But the way they brutally took him out, the way they brutally shot him, it's as if he was some kind of gangster. That's why there are conspiracy theories that are suggesting he was a gangster or drug dealer. I'm so sorry guys, the guy was none of that. He was just so good at what he does, so good that I don't know. Maybe that created enemies for him. DJ Somebody's sister also penned a moving tribute message to her brother called Sump Nice and Mayor of Vittori. I thank you for giving me so much. You gave me so much of yourself and everyone else. Everyone that stood before us at the memorial service truly certifies all that I thought of you and more. Thank you for doing so much in a short period of time. Thank you for your loyalty, and your thoughtfulness. Thank you for believing in yourself and your destiny because that's the reason you knew that you were just not anybody but you were truly a somebody. Thank you for the protection. I could walk with my chin so high up in the sky because I knew there was a lion standing tall and bold behind me. I kept bragging to people about how I was raised by kings referring to both my brothers, my father, and mother. She said she doubts that she will ever heal from this ordeal. Thank you for the sweat and blood that you put into building this legacy and giving us the best version of yourself as well. To say that I will miss you will be undermining how much you mean to me. I doubt I will heal but surely I will learn how to live with it. My questions will never be answered but I'll continue asking God to answer me until I heal.